this was a meeting that happened in January, okay, between Joe Biden and his allies where he was informed of his polling situation in both Michigan and Georgia. Uh, these are two bat- battleground states, of course, and that his polling was dropping a little bit due to his handling of the Israel Hamas war, which I personally love. I love that like he has his own after him because they've radicalized so many people that now it's coming back to bite him in the ass. I just I don't hate it. Um, So sources say that he was seething. They said that he began to shout and swear. Uh, And I want to I want to play an exchange between Peter Ducey, of course, Fox News is Peter Ducey, and Jake Sullivan, the uh, national security advisor. And Peter Ducey asked him about this report um, and for some clarity. And this is just a very bizarre exchange on this. Watch. There's a report that when President Biden was told his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas was starting to affect his poll numbers, uh, the quote is, he began to shout and swear. So when he does that, is he shouting and swearing about Netanyahu or about Hamas or about his poll numbers? This is the when did you stop beating your spouse question, because I don't think he ever did that. Um, (laughs) And so, well, you, you use that as the premise of your question, which is when he does that. He I've never seen him do that, shout or swear in response to that. So from my perspective, um, that uh, particular report is not correct. So I always thought that it was Corinne Jean-Pierre that did like the blinking when she knew she was about to lie. It's not just her, because if you'll know, he was he doesn't have eyeshadow on, so you can't see it as well. But he was like, uh, He's like a puppet. <laughs> He's like a puppet, like sitting there going, "What do I say? What do I yeah. say? This? I don't know. I'm gonna come up with something." Yeah, and he came up with that. <laughs> You're thinking that hard. I can see the wheels turning. The wheels are turning that hard, and that's what you come up with. I'm just really surprised that he understands what a poll is. Anyway, I mean, I mean, uh, really? Do you, look, look, do we really think that Joe Biden is getting mad about anything apart from ice cream or something like that? <laughs> like, do you really think that he's in, he's, he's compass mentis, that he understands what's going on? No, no, I don't. no, no. Well, to, okay, so to your point, this is a, a hilarious part of this article to me. So apparently... NBC, um, the report, and Joe Biden both believe he just needs more freedom to be the politician that he's always been and that, you know, he's he wants to meet more voters face to face. I'm like, please, please go in front of more voters. I would love for you to do that, please. Yeah, that's um, I don't know if that was like a Republican kind of nudging him there and saying, yeah, go for it. That'll help us out a whole lot. <laughs> Because, yeah, that would be a terrible idea, especially in his state, because, I mean, we don't see a lot of Joe Biden talking with other people like that, at least not in a coherent manner. Uh, by any- oh, oh, chocolate, chocolate chip. Not yeah. a joke, man. <laughs> yeah. So if he wants to do that, that's not going to look well. But the polling situation is uh, for sure interesting. To your point, there's certain like uh, issues that uh, they believe that just because he's kind of the guy that that is going to be the fall guy in that given scenario that he hasn't handled it in a, a particular way. But, yeah, that is your own base kind of uh, shooting back at you. Um, and they have kind of radicalized not just, um, of course, the the people, if you will, but even members of their of their party and how they generally approach the situation with uh, Israel. It's been an interesting thing because he's having to really the party in general is being forced to try to take both sides and talk out of both sides of their mouth. But it does seem that maybe their constituents um, or at least their voters, this is a real true issue that they care about. And it really is. They just care about it because are told to care about it it's not they really right. know what the hell is going on with right. palestine and israel uh to be fair but yeah that 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 for sure is interesting and look man go i'm really excited about this election cycle not because like i'm gonna be rallying to vote for anybody but <laughs> no it drives me nuts Eric. i know i know i know <laughs> not, not, that, that's not why it's like, it's like that what is it that that gif with the guy with the popcorn that's yeah it. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, exactly yeah. because it's gonna get intriguing yeah, it, it really yeah. is going to be intriguing because then joe biden is going to have to be really forced to defend himself i'm actually interested in if he'll even actually have a debate with with trump i don't think he will you don't think he will i don't think he will no way i don't think he will but honestly it's part of the reason that i i didn't want trump to to make that oh i'm not going to debate because i'm so far ahead in the polls i'm just mm, not going to then up. they're going to use it on yep yeah. i can see that I can and see so that. now so now you've walked right into them saying like well trump didn't debate 
Yeah. Why should we, why would we want to? That's a good point, man. And I was like, oh, I hate for that to be. Now, they were going to find a reason no matter what. Mm-hmm. So I'm. it's not like Trump's fault. I'm just saying, like, you know they're going to use that against him later. And it's going to be annoying to watch. Man, I would love to see that. I would love to see it so much for it to just happen. I know. I know. Oh, What's I know. up for well, the gas? Well, man. but the, the thing is, of- is, like, you, you just never know which Joe Biden is going to show up because, look, I mean, he's a I would say, I would argue Sarah Gonzalez's words, no one else's, that he's a terrible person, okay? Um, so I'm not saying that, like, it was a, uh, he was, he was, the content was good in his State of the Union, but he was awake and he didn't fall. Well, they put, probably gave him some drugs That's up, what I'm up saying. to his so, eyeballs. I don't know, like, if it's the drugged up, like, you know, methamphetamine, whatever the hell they gave him, whatever cocktail they injected into him, if it's that Joe Biden... Like he would at least not fall on his face. But the problem is you just never know which Joe Biden you're going to get. I think when you're watching Joe Biden, it's like, you know, there's a portion, certainly for Formula One. I don't know if it's the same for NASCAR, but there's a portion of people that go there for the crashes. <laughs> right? And they're sitting there and they're like, somebody's going to crash. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a big crash. I hate to say that's the way I feel when I watch a Joe Biden speech. I'm looking there and I'm like, when is he going to... Yeah. Right? And you see, what was amazing about that speech, by the way, is watching him. Like, firstly, he comes out and, he, you know, he's very robotic, right? He does, he's, the, he's Roomba, right? He's the yes. Roomba. Yes. <laughs> and he goes out and then he starts. And you could see it, like, wearing off. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, for sure. Went on and, yep. on and on and on. But I do want to make this other point uh, about the fact that they eat their own Mm -hmm. right they do they do because there's no real underlying higher moral order for them like they they don't have any standards they don't have anything to go by and when when you have that situation it ends up you you end up cannibalizing each other you have to yes right and so what we have to be very wary of i think and on the right and making these statements is that they will come and we keep saying this right on on social media, they're going to come for you eventually. It oh, doesn't yeah. matter. Oh, yeah. And they're showing us this, how even on the left, that they will come for you. You might think you're in this like, oh, well, you know all about oh. this more than anybody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you might think you're in this like little protective bubble for a little while, right? But really you're not at all. Yeah. Uh, and and it's, a, it's a real false sense of security that they have. It doesn't matter. Like, like now you look at people like Michael Rappaport, who was, and, and I think he's a despicable human being. Like every time I look at him, I'm like, why is that man, that man so angry? Like, yeah. why is he why is he so full of venom? Mm-hmm. And he hated Trump until Trump he realized that Trump was for Israel, and all of a sudden he's like, well, you know, yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now you're realizing that you aren't towing the line, so they're going to come for you. Yeah. And they're splintering off these different groups as they go. Please, Republicans, understand that this is something you can win on, right? Understand that you can unify people by having a coherent message and telling people, look, you don't have to splinter like this. Like we are, we actually have morals that we, morals and, and we have objectives that we want to achieve. Mm-hmm. And all they're doing right now, you look at it and can you tell me one thing, just one thing that they stand for right now? Because I couldn't tell you, the left. I don't know what Biden stands for. I don't know. I don't know what kind of message the Democrats are putting forward, and it would be a massive failure if we cannot exploit this mm-hmm. and win. Right. And and I want to just kind of add to that. Like I don't, and I'm sure you you, <sighs> well, you can tell me if you disagree. I don't expect the the people who we're talking about in, you know, uh, Minnesota and or Michigan and Georgia, like, I don't expect the people who are mad that he hasn't, like, uh, given a fist bump to Hamas. Like, I'm not saying like those people are going to be like, I'm going to vote for Donald Trump instead, but they could stay home. They might stay home. Yeah. So the question will become, do they hate Donald Trump enough to show up and protest vote against him for a guy that they also don't like? Well, I, I think with the, you, you, Matthew, you bring up such a great point there. And this is where I think that people on the more political right and by right, I mean, not just Republicans. I'm talking about anybody that, um, you know, like that, that includes libertarians, yeah. uh, all that. And not the crazy ones. Uh, no, yeah, exactly. Basically, people that are not bat crap. That's yeah. really who it is that I'm referring to. They have this. It's always their battle to win. We see this every two to four years. We see it throughout the throughout the year, really, where it's like it's your battle to win. And then they start getting in the way of themselves. Right. Uh, you see uh, folks on this side do that. It, it's 
it's so obvious. It's like the left is eating themselves. Mm-hmm. Okay, you let them do that. Right. Let them fight. Let them do whatever they need to do. Exploit it if you can. Yeah. But I wouldn't be surprised if they dropped the ball on this and then right. they start splintering uh, on, on the opposite st- side and start like, because I, I say it we've all the time. We've already seen it. Especially, it's already happening. Yeah, we've right already now. seen it with, with the. It is so players. annoying. It is so annoying to see that. You think, all right, we have core issues and core values that we all, uh, that we for the most part agree on. Now, uh, maybe I'm the more radical of the bunch. I, I would be the first one to say that, but at least when it comes to like a set of morals and ethics, we believe in we I hope we believe in like the concept of liberty. Right? right. OK. So those people there, we can we it's like a train. Right. We're all going in the right direction and maybe some get off earlier than others. And I'm staying all the way. I want to go all the way as far as we can. <laughs> but maybe some get off early. At, at minimum, we should be able to agree that, OK, there is another threat that is far bigger than yeah. anything that we pose uh, to each other. So if they're smart, especially going into this election year, people know to put those uh, silly differences aside. Mm-hmm. But oftentimes they like to cannibalize themselves as well. So the Democrats or leftists in general will give you an opening. Right. You can go in for the kill or you can just start attacking your uh, allies. Yeah, never Which un- one is it going to be? Never underestimate the ability for the Republicans to screw something up. Yes. Is, is, is how yes. I feel. S- snatch victory, uh, yeah. defeat from the jaws of victory. Yes. Right? They yeah. keep doing it yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, and you have like what Nikki Haley refused to endorse Donald Trump. Meg Pence is like, I'm not endorsing Donald Trump. Asa Hutchinson is not endorsing, which is like, real. I guess, a shame for the two voters who are going to vote for Asa Hutchinson. Mm-hmm. But it's like. A, you guys signed a pledge, so I guess your pledge meant nothing. But also, B, you cannot, you will never be able to make a believable argument that Donald Trump would be worse than the man that is in office right now. It's all about pride. It is. It's all about pride at the end of the day, because you have to look and say, well, what is the most important thing right now? And as you know, and we've had many discussions about this, it is a binary choice. It's either Donald uh, Donald Trump, right, who isn't going to trans your kids, who is going to hopefully close the border. He's going to do all these other things. And then you've got Biden, who's doing going to do exactly the opposite. I mean, we're seeing what's going on at the border right now. We're seeing that the things that they're trying to push. I mean, we're seeing that what they've done to the Jan Sixers, like it's very, very clear. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Make your choice. So all this like, well, I'm not going to do it out of principle. It's just utter bullshit. It drives me crazy. I know. I, I'm sorry. It's true, though, it, right? Well, it's, don't tell me it's principled that you're going to hand the keys of the, 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 the kingdom across to this moron. Right. Right. Who's like half dead, doesn't even know what day it is, has to get drugged up in order to make a, you know, a 45 minute speech. And they're like, yeah, but at least it's not Trump. I'm, I just don't buy that argument. And quite honestly, I'm fighting way too hard to make this like save this country for my kids. I, I like I just have I, I just can't like I just ha- don't have the patience for it. But here's the other thing. Here's don't. the other thing. If you think and, and I've never been like this. Right? I've never been believed or not. I've never been a drama queen like this. Believe to Yeah, me. right. Stop it. <laughs> but the truth is, if you think that Ron DeSantis is going to have a shot in four years, if it's a Biden president, forget it. It's over. Like, I don't think people understand how bad things are right now. We've got millions and millions and millions of people coming across the border. They're going to let them vote. Don't think that they're not going to let them vote. They're going to cheat even more. Let's say it, mm-hmm. right? There's not going to be a chance. In for, they, they, will, they will let someone like Nikki Haley, because Nikki Haley is an acceptable face of the Uni Party, oh, yeah. right? We'll let her in, right? And that's why- be pulling the strings. And I'm looking, I'm like, nobody likes her. <laughs> nobody likes her. She's completely unlikable. <laughs> Yeah, um, they tend to go for the for that type. <laughs> I'm like, I know who's going to run for president. Someone who nobody likes. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be, I mean, her maybe her maybe her husband likes her. I don't really know. She did cheat on him, so maybe he doesn't even like her either. Um, all right, well, sorry, allegedly. Okay, don't take my word for it. Take the sworn affidavits uh, word for it of multiple men. If you like this clip and you want to see the full episode, click here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, come on, you know you do. Click here. 